Okay, if we just look at our entire table here, so I'll select all from our users table. What did I type wrong? Not form, from. You can see all five of our users. And the information we have on them is first name, last name, and username. Let's say we want to also get some other information on them, like um, we'll say sex. So not yes or no, but uh, male or female, or in this case, we'll just do F or M. So we can now say, um, scratch my head, uh, alter table. And really, I think just to be proper, alter table should be capital. It doesn't have to be, but I think that's proper. And then we can uh, say our table, user, our users. And then we'll say add column. And then the name of that column, which we'll just say sex. And then we have to say what type of information goes in there and how much. Uh, once again, we'll just say char for character, and then inside parentheses here, we'll say one, because it's either going to be f or m. If it's any longer than that, it's the wrong information, we don't want it. And then we'll say semicolon there, and we'll hit enter, and it says that uh, okay, we got query okay, and it said that it affected five records, because we have five uh, records inside this user, or five rows. So once again, if we go uh, select all from users and hit enter you can now say, see that we have a sex column and by default it just puts null for each one of the the new uh, users um, and we'll get into uh, manipulating that data um, and it's basically the same way that we did uh, when we changed Bob's uh, username to or yeah username to mouse so and what we do here is if we want to change uh, Chris Acapinti, that's me, email x1000, sex from null to male, we're going to type uh, update because we're going to be updating. So update, and we'll say the table is users, and we're going to set set sex equal to M. Let's make it a capital M. And they're going to say where, uh, let's make that capital. I'm trying to get in the habit of capitalizing the stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to say where F name equals Chris and L name equals Acapinti semicolon there. I think that's everything. We'll hit enter. It says query OK, one row affected. Let's look at everything again. You can see now in my sex column we have M for male. Um, so let's do the same thing for other users. I'm just going to say, um, we'll say where last name is Jones. We got two of those that will help speed things up. So now you can see both Bob and Tom are males. And we can say where the F name, first name equals Jen. We'll make that a female. And we'll do the same thing for little Billy. There we go. So we got three males and two females. Okay. So we've added a column. And we've added information to that column. Let's uh, add another column. So we're going to say once again, alter table. Once again, I have to make sure I click into my virtual box. Alter table uh, users. And we're going to add a column. And we'll call this one, we'll just say DOB for date of birth. And um, actually, let's let's make it something. We'll just call it. Um, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why. I'm just trying to think of something. 
Um, I'll just say, uh, we'll call it, first off, I'm trying to get in the habit of add column. Um, don't forget to see that. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just drawing, I'm tired. Okay, uh, user add column, and we'll just say uh, state. So we'll create, you know, this will be the state they're going to be in, and it's going to be a character, we'll say 20 semicolon. Now, if we view all, you can see everyone's got a state column now. They're all null. But then we go, oh, you know what? We really don't want to have a state column, so we're going to delete that column. So we'll say, uh, once again, alter table users. Um, and we're going to say da, 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 da. drop, drop column. It's not delete column, it's drop column. And what column are we going to drop? The one that's called state. Semicolon, hit enter. It says query OK, five rows affected. If we list everything again, you can see that column is now gone. So that's adding uh, columns and a little review on uh, uh, editing uh, field information and then also removing columns. So once again, I thank you for watching. Please visit the links in the description, filmsbychris.com, and I hope that you have a great day.